Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick Kyogre Kawai and we are here for the sixth week of IBA season two up against our opponent this week is uh, the coach of the Miami Heat Trans Meta Mech. This is my first time battling him in any draft league so that's always exciting. So if you're um, looking forward to this week's battle leave a like down below uh, and a comment all of those things help support me and if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the content and haven't subscribed yet i'd appreciate a subscription uh content's been a little bit slow besides draft league draft league uh happens every weekend on saturdays i'm a part of two draft leagues so you can always always be sure uh because that is a deadline i have to meet that that content is always going to be here whenever i'm in a in an active draft league but the rest of my content um i've been bad about streaming I've been bad about posting videos consistently for other series. Then. So um, I appreciate you guys being patient with me, um, but definitely I'm working on it, working on trying to get content back up uh, in a more consistent fashion, but my motivation uh, has been low. So I'm just trying to, to figure out what I want to do. So if you have any suggestions for content that I've done in the past that you really like uh, and are bummed that I'm not doing, I really appreciate the feedback and I like to know what you guys are interested in and um, you know what content maybe I should try to focus on more for you guys because I enjoy doing so many different things it's hard to pinpoint what exactly I want to be doing on the channel so uh, any feedback is always greatly appreciated but now we're going to dive into I'm going to go over my team first I'll leave it um, down somewhere either in the description or the comments or I'll put it up on the screen um, here to tell you when the battle starts because I'm going to do a team analysis breakdown show you guys my team before the battle so it'll be pretty quick though this week because I got to hop in the battle in like five minutes so a uh, quick rundown. Um, I started with G Max Charizard because obviously he's my only G Max and I started just running damage calcs um, of what it can do. And like with this with this move set and this spread here, air slash flamethrower, dragon pulse, and roost with heavy duty boots, I didn't want to rely on having to have the stealth rocks be gone to switch in my Pokemon. So I heavy duty boots here on Charizard, uh, timid nature with a uh, max special attack, max speed. Again with the boosting speed nature with timid, and then a little bit of HP. Um, I mean this thing just uh, pretty much one or two hit KOs everything. On my opponent's team here, uh, like guaranteed Oko against Silvali if I'm in the sun with a max flare. Uh, guaranteed Oko onto Hydreigon if it's like Z no bulk. No bulk Hydreigon gets uh, Oko Oko'd by max airstream in the sun. Uh, same thing. Uh, like I can live a liquidation uh, from uh, the Barrascuda and then return with an Oko. So pretty much does a lot. The... Um, the biggest threat to my Charizard here is, um, honestly, like I can do, I'm not afraid of anything except the Machamp, the Gigantamax Machamp, because, um, I have seen that Meta Mech has, uh, is kind of a fan of bulkier Pokemon, and I have seen him run Assault Vest on Machamp, which is a fantastic item to run on Machamp, especially Dynamax, makes it, uh, it really buffs up the 85 special defense and makes it a lot bulkier with doubling the HP and giving it uh, a boost to special defense. So I can't Oko it, even Max Airstream in the Sun does not Oko Max HP Assault Vest Machamp, and I would normally die to a mo Max Rockfall, so that was my main thing, is like, okay, Charizard can handle everything if I'm set up in the sun, except the G-Max Machamp, which I don't live a max rocks fall. Uh, but I didn't want to put Charty Berry because I didn't want to lose the heavy duty boots. So I'll go through the rest of the team because I didn't do too many damage calcs. The rest are just kind of mons I wanted to try out and use. I wanted to try this eject button Torkoal. Um, it was actually Wes who said he was using it in some mock battles that he was doing when helping uh, JV, my opponent from last week. And he said eject button is actually something interesting to consider on Torkoal. And I had always thought about it, but um, hadn't tried it yet. Because you can switch in, get the sun up, and then get a free switch if you get hit with something that triggers the eject button. So I really like that. Uh, with Stealth Rock, Flamethrower, Earth Power. T Earth Power is to hit the Chandelure so I, so I don't get walled by it completely. And Yawn uh, is just to be annoying with. I'm going to skip down to Jolteon here because the idea here was kind of like Jolteon 
um, and Torkoal to help support Charizard. It is a lot of support for my one Pokemon, but it is the Gigantamax Pokemon, so I really need to support it, and I might be able to get a sweep with it if I can do this right. So we actually have a weird Jolteon set with Light Clay, <clears throat> Volt Absorb. I mean, there's not really a better ability, but anyway, Volt, uh, Light Clay, uh, Reflect Light Screen Jolteon, because as long as I have Reflect Up, I live one of those Max Rock Falls that I told you from, like, again, I was doing calcs against, like, max hp max attack so i can live a max rock fall from a fully attack invested machamp if we're both dynamax and then again i'm faster i two hit ko with max airstream so as long as i can live one which again all i need is reflect to be up to live one i can uh power through the machamp but if i'm able to stall out the machamp uh with skarmory here skarmory's rocky helmet um some speed there was a reason i i gave it that speed um, and I don't remember, but it was enough to outspeed something. I should I should have had that written down, and I think I did, but I lost it. But anyway, we have a, a kind of speedy Skarmory. Oh, no, I think that's enough speed to outspeed. Um, it was like, let me look at the team. Um, and then how fast is Skarmory? Skarmory is 70 speed, and there was somebody kind of slow I wanted. I think I wanted to outspeed max speed Machamp just in case, so that I could completely kind of wall it, because Machamp doesn't do a ton of damage here to Skarmory with Rocky Helmet, and then I can, like, uh, Iron Head, Body Press, uh, Brave Bird, Defog. Um, but anyway, yeah, so the idea with Jolteon is to get Reflect up, um, and pretty much that's it. I just, I want Reflect and Light Screen up, and then maybe Toxic something, um, and then, you know, either die or Volt Switch into a safe switch in. Uh, and that's purely to support Charizard. So my idea is kind of like, all right, we set up screens, and then I can Volt Switch into Torkoal. Torkoal can maybe take the hit depending on what it is. Either way, it sets up the sun, and then I get Charizard in for free behind Light Screen and Reflect. That would honestly be the ideal scenario. I break through the team, uh, and then hopefully the rest of my Mons can clean up here. Uh, bulky um, attacking, special attacking, Assault Vest Gudra with coverage to hit everything. Uh, I wanted to use Choice Spec Slowbro because I've never used Choice Spec Slowbro. I uh, haven't used Slowbro much since the beginning of the season. Uh, throw in Regenerator on it instead of um, instead of Quick Draw because I wanted to. With Choice Specs, you're going to fire off a move, and maybe if you uh, since you can't switch up moves, you're going to end up switching out maybe more with a Choice Specs Pokemon. So um, uh, that's kind of why I wanted Regenerator for like switching. And I, I didn't really think. I mean, Quick Draw is nice, but it's it's a small chance of happening, and Regenerator is more consistently helpful. Uh, so that's the idea, is hopefully, I honestly just kind of want to lead with my Jolteon screens, get screens set up, uh, switch to Torkoal, and get Charizard in and go from there. Because uh, like I said, I know I can um, two-hit KO Machamp and not die from the first Max Rockfall. So that's my plan. I don't really know what my opponent's plan is, so we're just going to dive into it here. I'm going to close this. Uh, we're about to get ready for the match. Uh, he just messaged me saying that he is ready. So yeah, uh, I'll cut here and we'll see you guys in the battle. All right, we are here and connected. I just got super nervous all of a sudden. So, okay, so we got Jirachi. Jirachi, uh, Togekiss, Machamp, Silvali, Hydry, God. I mean, could maybe set up Stealth Rocks. Don't really know. I think I think everything... Yeah, we're just going to go for our... We're going to go for the strategy we, we want to try to pull off. I don't really want to get my other Mons damaged, besides the two that I want to, like, the Jolteon and the Torkoal that I want to set up with. So good luck and have fun to my opponent. <laughs> Whew. Super, like the nerves always set in, but <sighs> come on, let's get this. Maximus. Shirachi. Um, okay. This thing could be Choice Scarf, so I guess we'll find out. I really don't want to get flinched to death. That would really suck. Um, I think I'm just going to go for the Reflect because it's what I want to do. Um, if I'm worried about the flinches, then I, I, we're not, we're not slower. All right. So, all right. Stealth Rock, that's fine with me. Totally fine with that. 
Um, so the reflect comes up. I'm gonna set up a light screen too, just because there is some powerful special attackers. Might as well. I mean, that's literally Jolteon's only job is reflect, light screen. Um, I want to see what other moves he's got. Toxic, that's fine with me. Totally fine with me. Um, yeah, totally fine with me. Now I'm just gonna hit the Jirachi with the Volt Switch. Um, uh, so the thing that sucks is if, if Torkoal doesn't get hit, then I'm not gonna get the Eject button. So, I mean, like, Hydreigon could switch into this. I like, huh. So we're going to just go for the Volt Switch. I probably should have gone for Light Screen first and then Reflect. But I was worried about, like, Choice Scarf Iron Heads. Because now, I, the I reason I say I, I should have gone for Light Screen first is now I have, like, I have one less turn of Reflect. Um, that did about 25%. That's cool. Be really nice if he goes for some physical damage here instead of another toxic. I'd really like that. Um, oh, oh no! I didn't put a. I. Ha oh no! I had the eject button, but I didn't put it on Torkoal. That's my bad. That's my bad. I just had to buy an eject button, but at least I mean I don't get stealth rock damage, so that's cool. But that kind of throws off my big plan um, of getting a free switch into into Charizard. So that's really frustrating. Okay. Um, so Drain Punch is not doing much. I could see a Toxic coming out here. I'm worried about the Toxic on Charizard. Here, let me check the situation here. We got five turns of Reflect left. Dang. I mean, I could set my own Stealth Rocks up or go for a Yawn on the Switch. Um, I think I'm going to try to secure a free switch to Charizard by going for the Yawn in case, in case Jirachi switches out into like the fire type, um, Chandelure or like Hydreigon or honestly anything. I I'm fine yawning anything that wants to come in here. Um, hopefully it forces another switch so that I can maybe pivot out into Charizard. I mean, right here would have been, would be a good switch into Charizard. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted. Twilight. Um, okay, I'm fine with this. Alright, I'm fine with this. Yawn comes out. Um, I'm honestly just going to go Charizard right now. Because, yeah, okay. We're going for it. We're going for the... So they don't switch out. They're going to fall asleep here, which is really cool, honestly. I don't know what type the Silvali is. Oh, I that's really lucky. Really lucky that I dodged that. Uh, I take the solar power damage on the switch. How many turns of sun do I have left? Oh, that's bad, actually, that I only have two turns of sun left. I, I stayed in too long with Torkoal a little bit. Um, okay, who's, who's, is there a max Airstream switch in? Um... Yeah, kinda, but that's still fine. Uh, I'm still gonna go for it. I want the speed boost. <sighs> I am Gigantamax Charizard this time. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Uh, but I am a little bummed about the... Um... Yeah, the eject button. The eject button would have been perfect because I would have been able to... Uh... Uh, I'm pretty sure the Jirachi went for the drain punch there. But now Twilight here, the Chandelure, is asleep. Um, and unless, I don't know what type the Silvali is, but unless the Silvali is like rock, ooh, Silvali rock would actually be pretty, pretty scary, um, and be able to most likely take the max airstream. Um, but it doesn't look like we're getting a switch. I don't remember what happened. I think the switch would have happened first before the Gigantamax. So this is essentially a free KO here on... Machamp, uh, not on Machamp, I'm thinking Machamp might come in after this, but I think this is a pretty free KO under the Chandelure. Um, unless it's like Focus Sash. Nope, no Focus Sash, okay. Charizard, KO, Chandelure. 
All right. Cool. We got a KO. Solar power, damage. I'm plus one. I should outspeed everything. Um. So, Charizard, G Max, Dynamax, Burst, Machamp. G Max, uh, Stone Edge. Uh, but I am behind pretty flat. I honestly. Okay, good. Because I don't know if I. Uh, it still can do close to 75%. So he's switch thinking about his switch in here. Um, okay. So unless this is like Assault Vest, Togekiss, I did damage Calx for Togekiss here. Um, I thought I did. Uh, sorry. I gotta, I gotta double check. Um, especially defensive in the sun. Um, if it's specially defensive, I actually... Oh, that's Toga tomorrow, not Toga Kiss. Um, oh, right, yeah, 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 okay. So, Wildfire. Alright, I don't know. It depends on how much bulk this thing has. If it's like Assault Vest, it lives. But if it's just max HP, it goes down. Alright, it goes down. Cool. Uh, so this is exactly the plan, and minus messing up the Torkoal. All right, so here we go. Here is the, uh, so now most likely now that my Dynamax is stalled out, I imagine Machamp is probably gonna come in. And then I have to think about what I wanna do here. Hmm, okay. Undertaker, yeah, w nice WWE wrestling reference. I like it. So, okay. Uh, in the sun with Reflect Up. I mean, uh, Max Airstream is doing a lot unless it's bulky. You could easily just go for the Max Guard, but I could go for the Max Guard. If he goes for the Max Guard and I attack, I lose nothing. If... I go for the max airstream and he attacks, I still live and can go for uh, an air slash. Uh, we're not in the sun anymore though, so it's not even going to guarantee an Oko, so I feel like he could just easily stall me out. Um, but again, if he max, I live the max rockfall, so I might as well airstream. I'm just going to go for it because he most likely is going to Dynamax and Max Guard. But if he's Assault Vest, that's the cool thing about Assault Vest. If he does run Assault Vest, he cannot protect. So there's there's pluses and minuses of the situation. I wish the sun was still up. Uh, G-Max Machamp coming in. The cool thing about G-Max Machamp is it can't boost its attack with Max Knuckles because it gets Cheese Strike instead. Uh, I imagine... No, no Max Airstream. So that's cool with me. Um, I still might be able to live a, a rock fall. I'm pretty sure Reflect is still up. Um, there's the max rock fall. We barely live. Um, the sandstorm's gonna hurt. So... Okay. The reflect is gone. Um, and I'm not Dynamaxed. That first one did less. That first one was probably, I mean, honestly, let's see. Who's left? Who's left? Um, Charizard is honestly my best answer for the Jirachi. So I feel like I should switch out to Torkoal to set the sun back up or switch out to the Rocky Helmet. Um, 
Because I can get Reflect back up, too. Um, yeah, I'm going to switch here to Skarmory, because I feel like that's a, a good switch. Rockfall still does a lot to Skarmory, honestly. Um, but we're going to go for it. I want to save Charizard. I want to save Charizard, and I want to stall out the Dynamax. Um, so this is their second turn of Dynamax. Uh, Stealth Rock. Oh, Max Flare. Was not expecting that. They were expecting that, so that's pretty cool of them. <laughs> uh, so they set the sun back up for me. Um, can Charizard come back in in the sun? And just KO with Flamethrower? I might be able to. I guess, can Torkoal live a max Rock Ball? Um, not safely. But now that the sun's back up, I think my Flamethrower can KO. And the, thankfully the Heavy Duty Boots saved me from dying. Um... I could have gone back into Jolteon and set up the Reflect first. That might have been a smart play. But this is also good, because... There's no safe switch into this besides losing your G-Max and going to Chandelure. So, I mean, unless this is like... This would have to be max HP, max special defense to live. Oh, never mind. It lived anyway. Oh, no. Okay. Um, okay, luckily I still have Torkoal to be able to set up. I think luckily Machamp is going to go down to the Wildfire as long as the Wildfire is still around here. Um, so, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Machamp did... KO Skarmory, which is pretty funny. Um, there we go. And then Charizard has KO'd Machamp with Wildfire. Okay. And then Machamp KO Charizard. So now, now the thing is, what do we do here? They have all special attackers left pretty much. I mean, I could go set up my light screen again and reflect. Or I could get the sun up, but I need the sun to, yeah. Honestly, looking pretty good here with the mons that I have left. So I'm going to set up my screens again. Maybe Volt Switch out if I'm really worried, but... So... I've KO'd Chandelure, I've KO'd Togekiss, I've KO'd Machamp. So it's Silvali, Hydreigon, Jirachi left. Jirachi's not at full health. I'm going to take Stealth Rock damage here, plus... Uh, okay, so Frankenstein is Silvali. That looks like maybe Silvali Water, Ice, Dragon. I can double check, thankfully. It's just, it actually just says normal. It's just normal Silvali. Um, let me search something up here. Silvali, let's call it Swords Dance set versus my Jolteon. Um, if I'm level 100, not level 50. A multi attack does a lot of damage honestly but that's what the reflect is for we can set them both back up or i could put it on a timer with toxic i think i'm gonna go for reflect see what they want to go for uh or maybe they swords dance in my face so i go for toxic yeah i kind of want the toxic never mind it's just explosion okay i was not expecting that Choice Scarf, that has to be Choice Scarf Explosion. Pretty cool, honestly. Um, okay. So, Silvali KO itself with Explosion. Silvali KO Jolteon. Okay, so I don't get my screens back up. Um, but now it's Hydreigon and Jirachi. Hydreigon and Jirachi. Um, getting the sun back up is good. And I can yawn whatever whatever comes in so i want to get the sun back up honestly that doesn't hinder my other pokemon body press would have been nice to have in this moment for torkoal uh i do like that i'm not taking stealth rock damage on torkoal either cerberus here um okay so this here is where it gets kind of tricky because 
high dragon could just nasty plot in my face, which would be pretty bad, honestly. Torkoal, Torkoal, Torkoal. Uh, Flamethrower is only doing 21 to 25%. So I feel like I punish this thing if it wants to set up, so I have to yawn it. Earth power. Okay, that may that probably KOs me. Nope, we live. Okay, that's cool. Uh, that's pretty cool. So it's going to fall asleep after this turn. Uh, very cool, very, 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 very cool. Um, so I stay in, I let it KO me. Or it switches out into Jirachi. Um, in the case of a switch... It's like, Jirachi's not asleep, is it? I didn't want to break Sleep Claws. I forgot Sleep Claws was a thing that I was not paying attention to. <sighs> I don't know. I mean... In the case of a switch, I'm going to go for the Flamethrower. Nope, another Earth Power comes out. So this thing's going to stay asleep. Crit doesn't matter there. Um... What's my move set here on Slowbro? I do have Flamethrower on Slowbro, which is pretty cool. Um, Slowbro Galar versus this thing. Almost Oko's with Ice Beam. And it's asleep right now. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay in. I'm gonna stay in for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. I probably, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but I'm gonna go for the Draco Meteor. I'm gonna go for it. The switch to Jirachi is very possible. Nope, okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, okay. Draco Meteor connects, that should be the end. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, Hi, Dragon. KO'd my Torkoal. Um, Gudra KO High Dragon. And then it comes down to Jirachi. Jirachi, Jirachi. And this Jirachi had Drain Punch, I believe, was the only thing I saw from it. Um, Gudra, Flamethrower. At minus two isn't doing much. So I feel like I gotta make the switch here. Getting flinched is definitely something scary to think about. And I, yeah, I need to be at full special attack. So we gotta make the switch here. We gotta do it. Uh, I gotta reset my special attack. Taking the extra stealth rock chip sucks. If this is just a Zen HUD headbutt, then I might just go down here. Iron Head, okay. I could get flinched to death. I could very easily get flinched to death. This is Leftovers, Drain Punch, Iron Head. Um, <sighs> leftovers. I'm guessing it's 252 HP and attack. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Um, we just go for the Flamethrower. Hopefully he's like choice. He's choiced into Iron Head, but the flinches are deadly. The flinches are deadly. Yeah, the flinches are really bad. Honestly, I could just get flinched to death. Um, shoot. These leftover animations suck. <laughs> um, dang. I'm going to get... I could probably most likely just get flinched to the end of this. Oh, shoot. This is uh, frustrating say the least okay and the battle's about to end so i don't really know how we're gonna replay this i mean i've, I've taken two two chips of of stealth rock he's at full health oh the speed drop the speed drop nice Ooh. um Hmm. I guess... <sighs> yeah. That sucks. We just needed one or two more turns to finish the battle. So, I'm gonna pause the video recording here, and we'll figure out, because we gotta, like, 
redo that a little bit. Um, so if he was like max speed, he'd if he was max speed. So I would have outsped unless it was max speed, um, like adamant, adamant, or better. Um, all right, so I just chatted with Meta Mech, and we figured out what we're going to do because normally I would say that's a pretty easy one to recreate. However, it's really not easy to recreate what happened at the end of that battle there um, to get to retry the last turn. And that's because with all like the flinching and not flinching, it would be it would be literally painstaking to try to recreate uh, when the flinch happened and when wasn't. So we decided to just talk it out theoretically what would have happened. So um, Gudra's ability GUI kicked in that last turn and his Jirachi was at minus one speed. He let me know his Jirachi was a max speed Jirachi. So I did the calc and even adamant nature or not, so not speed boosting nature Jirachi um, at minus one uh, outspeeds my Gudra. I'll double check here um because yeah i have zero no speed investment whatsoever none whatsoever so yeah level 100 196 yeah so essentially he was gonna outspeed me the final turn i really thought me being plus one would have uh, minus one if i would have had literally like all i needed was um like 12 points of speed investment into to Gudra to, to win that game, uh, which is a really a bummer uh, way to lose a game. But anyway, so anyway, yeah, I was in another Iron Head range, but also he was in a range of another Flamethrower. So I would have KO'd um, his Jirachi um, the next turn if I would have been faster. But he was definitely going to be faster. So um, that... That's, that's basically what we decided to do. We're not going to replay it. We're giving the final KO. Jirachi KOs Gudra, and that's the end of the game, which what is exactly what would have happened, just because otherwise it would have been impossible to recreate. Um, but I'm just happy my initial strategy worked with the uh, light screen and... Um, yeah, just the light screen and Charizard. And Charizard got three KOs that game, um, so... I'm happy with my boy Charizard, put in some serious work, and um, just didn't plan my end game super well with that, so it is what it is, but I'm definitely happy with that, not like super salty about losing that one. Obviously, I wanted to win, and this season is not going so hot for me. Uh, I'm like, what's my record now? We are, <laughs> we're one in five, so I've only won one game. Uh, my single battle strategies have not been very on point. Uh, this season and my team honestly is not uh, doing what I expected it to do but I definitely can do better I think my team has some potential to do better and I, again I was very happy with how I played this battle today it came down to such a close one where either one of us could have won uh, with a little bit like if my I would have just won if I didn't get flinched with uh, Slowbro. So maybe if I had Quick Draw instead of Regenerator, that would have been better. Um, but yeah, so that's that's uh, it, it comes down to like some preparation things and not really thinking um, or I didn't I wasn't respecting the Iron Head flinches enough to uh, to to prep for that end game specifically. So definitely. Um, I'm happy overall with how I prep, but obviously there's room for improvements, and the things that I learned there are definitely um, not only have an initial strategy, but make sure you think think far enough ahead. And I was thinking about the end game, but I was just I, I was banking on not getting flinched, and Serene Grace Iron Head flinch chance is like super high chance to flinch, so I should have uh, I should have prepped more and respected the Jirachi Iron Head flinches more more so than I did. But GG to my opponent, man. Uh, epic team I was not expecting. Um, he absolutely destroyed and predicted me on the switch into my Skarmory, um, which was pretty huge from the Machamp. Skarmory definitely was something I could have maybe not brung. Uh, I thought it was going to be a better wall against Machamp, but turns out I didn't even need it to be. Uh, so I could have brought something a little bit better, maybe to deal with that Jirachi in the end. Uh, but yeah, overall, like maybe Doug Trio would have been better to have there. 
Uh, but everything worked out the way it did, and it it almost secured us the victory very, very, very closely. So, uh, again, GG to my opponent, MetaMech. Again, this is the first time we've ever got to battle each other. So make sure to go leave a like and comment and support and on his video. Subscribe to him. His link's in the description down below. And, yeah, that's all I have for you guys this week. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we will try our hardest next week to come back and hopefully uh, break this losing streak. Trying really hard. But it is it is pretty tough, and uh, playoffs are not looking very likely right now because we don't have that many weeks left. We only have um, four more weeks, and right now I'm at like the bottom of the ranking. So best record I could get would be like five and five because um, I'm one and five now. So. I don't know if that's a good enough record to make it to playoffs. It depends on kind of where things are shaken out to be. So we'll find out, but I'm going to try my best and have fun every week. And yeah, I will see you guys next Saturday for another IBA Draft League video. Peace out.